everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. No, why have you done that again? I'm already on a mission. It's a dead end. Looks like a cave in. So what happened to the caravan? Let's look around. Maybe your second sight can help? Oh, possibly. Door. Talana, I think I found something in the rubble. What is it? What does it say? He was part of the caravan that went through here. I know it ends abruptly when the tunnel started to collapse, I guess. Oh, but there's nothing here about a Karja hunter. And an earlier caravan made it through before the collapse. Sounds like they went to a watering hole on the other side. So he could have made it. Is there another way through? <sighs> I don't know. These mountains are pretty steep. Then I'll have to find a way. Thank you, Aloy, for coming with me this far. But I've taken up enough of your time. Here, take this. May it help you on your own hunt. W uh, hold on. How do I get in contact with you if I find a way across the mountains? I'll check in with Mila with Stone's Echo whenever I can. If you find a way, leave word with her. I will. Good luck. You too. Oh, okay then. Seems really worried about her friend. Mm -hmm. I wish there was more I could do, but I don't think there's a way past these mountains right now. Ah, uh, that's why it's going to be a thing where I need to come back later. Fair enough. You, you big fuck. I don't like you at all. Ah, uh, spectres. They're all sleek and new. I don't particularly care for you either. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Uh, and now today we make the crossing. Got the all cleared this morning. That poor guff. And the first half of the crew made it safely to the other side. Sounds like they found a watering hole to rest a while. Ugh, to to rest at while they wait for us. Wish you could see this place. A tunnel made by the old ones carved straight through the mountain. Why go through or up and over if you can go through a mountain? If this is a taste of the marvels to come, I can't wait. And then, yeah, shit went south pretty quickly. Uh, skill points. Triple weapon shredder, what? Ooh, <laughs> and what are you? Bouncing bomb. I like the sound of this triple shredder. On hold until to find its way across the mountains. Fair enough. Yeah. Hold on. I still need some kind of code to open. It doesn't look like there's anything I can do now. Hang on. Bunch of Osram supplies. And a dead end. Oh, well, at least I got some supplies out of it. Uh, 
I mean, I probably could have wrapped that bit up in the in the previous episode, but never mind. Hello, what's this? A Delver's Diary written with a friendly hand. Oh, this damn brings back some fond memories. I followed rumours of a gargantuan levy on the, uh, to this site, hoping to avail myself on of yet another delightful delve. Or perhaps I hoped for an adventure as arousing as my first visit to the frozen north. But now that I'm here, I find myself at a bit of a loss. Even with the eye of a well-versed adventurer, I cannot spot a way to reach the interior unscathed or return with a loaded rucksack. For that matter. And truth be told, by the dis uh, decrepit looks of it, I can scarcely imagine the effect outweighing the results. Wait. Have my reckless impulses been tempered by the good sense of a, of a certain flame? Flame-haired Nora? I think they have. All for the best, I suppose. As much as I would relish another damn busting delve, I doubt she would miraculously appear to save me again. Oh, is this that dude who we met before at the dam? And even if she did, I wouldn't want her to risk her neck on my account, not after all she did for me before. No, sir, I shall take a few moments to reminisce, and then southward it is, to the burning shores. Oh, I could have used that. Against a uh, shell snapper, or whatever it's called. Right, where are you taking me? To Plain Song? There's Reach. You're not complete. Obviously, missing something over there. Still missing a tool. Okay, so what can I do? Uh, I guess I've got no, I haven't got much choice but to push the uh, main quest on so to that end. Get as close as we can, which is probably here. Right next to the tall neck. Hey there, old friend. Right, it's on. The blight's taking over the entire fields. Land gods. So in the fields with light. It's like they're still following their programming. Even though it's killing everything. Gotta part ways with this machine for now. Hello, everyone. There's more in Zoom. No. So I'm over here to talk to. Hello there. surviving out here. All right. A word of warning. Avoid the ruins northwest of Plainsong. Scouts say something lights up the ruins when night comes. Whatever it is, it's not natural. Good to know. Which of course means that's exactly where I'll be going. Lighting up the ruins. Could be old world tech. Might be worth taking a look. Exactly. Hello, everyone. Is something wrong? I hope your friend is ready for what lies ahead. Hey, Lloyd. I'm here, as promised. That's singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. And the subject of the cave is bad enough. 
Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out. Throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself. And the tribe. You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Uh, some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone. Uh, Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray? There may even have been a little exaggeration. <laughs> pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs, and even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on. Oh, no. I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. Damn right. I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The, the fuss was already there. Many in the tribe and most in the chorus want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. But there are others who call for change or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. But each tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. If you say so. Aloy, I'm starting to dislike you a bit. I know you're in a hurry to get things done, but take a chill pill. So you put fortifications around the cave? Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stone craft of the Karja or Osiram. It is our archers of the cordon that truly hold the machines back. They withstand new attacks every day. I hope they can hold out. What machines are coming out of the cave? Scavengers and hunter killers. But they're tougher than any we fought before. More vicious with a strange purple glow. Sounds familiar. You've fought machines like these? If they are what I think they are, then yeah. There may be a whole other problem in that cave. All the more reason for me to get inside and figure it out. So Minerva is affecting these machines, I'm guessing. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus is gathered. All right, cool. So we've got few extra side quests around here. Stitcher of Outfits. The wind carry you. I feel like I should know who you are. All right then. Uh. Get restocked. Cool. Uh. 
workbench. Cool. What can I upgrade? Yes, yeah, so let's get you up to level three. Any others? No? All right then. Okay, I can't add anything. Perhaps. Right, that's all upgraded. Anything with you? Impact strike. Which which one do I? I'm guessing this one. Oils can't do anything with you. Ah, uh, here we go. Ooh, that might takes it up a bit. Cool. You've now got coil right you it coils incompatible what do you do increase damage dealt with using overdraw you're not adding much and it weaves. That's all locked. Are you locked? Oh, you're not fully upgraded, that's why. Not any of you fully upgraded? You are. Okay, so what can I add to you to make you... This fire... Piece of defense against damage. Let's do that. Let's equip you. There we go. Right, I'm not sure how much of a difference that's going to make, but it's worth messing around with them. So the rumors are true. You must be the soldier who took down Regalo's champion, and the one who's got this place in an uproar. What's a Tanakh doing in Plainsong? Resupplying for a trip to the hunting grounds. You should come by, it's just northwest of here. Bet a sturdy soldier like yourself could handle the trials there. But I could. Maybe I'll see you there. Alright, so we've got uh, some trials. Excellent. I've got another quest over there. That's where you want me to go. What's this way? Ah. Sorry. Not going to join in the Okay, this place is confusing. Alright, there's something down here. No, I'm, I'm good, thanks. I'll do that. Well, this place is confusing.
Am I just going around in a big circle? Hello. Okay, yeah, I'm back. I'm back here now. Yeah, I'm. I'm fine. What's in here? I'm just going back up. Sorry, right, kids. Right, so I'm looking. Outlander. The chorus is still deliberating. Nervous. Bringing an outlander before the chorus. I hope this works. It'll be worth it, Zoe. You'll see. Hello. What do you have? Ooh, Shadow Carja. I'll buy it. And I'll buy it. Nature's bounty stitched into the perfect wear. Thank you. You're a Nora, aren't you? Haven't seen one since I visited Hunter's Gathering. I didn't think the Utaru traveled that far east. I did it for my dyes. I like to see how different tribes use roots and plants to make new colors. It's amazing how the right hue can make armor express so much more than its mere function. I have some samples, if you're interested. Right. Well, that's the one I'm wearing now, so. Oh, I like the red. Use die class to unlock and apply a new die. Nice. Beautiful. It's nothing compared to the Tanakh dyers. They may not be the friendliest of tribes, but if you bring their dyers plants or samples, they might show you their skills. I'll keep an eye out for them. All oh, these people gathered. Right, uh Nope. Oh. That's what I'm wearing now, can I Wait, can I not change the colours? I look. Remind right. me of mother's heart back in the Nora sacred land. Guess I'll figure that out later. We crowd around to hear what the matriarchs had to say. There's another one over there. You must miss him. A little. Today. Probably not. I'm not really the praying kind. Word for somebody who owes you a favor? Oh, hey, F. Aloy. Wasn't sure you'd ever come around. What do you think of Plain Song? It's quite a place. <laughs> sure. As long as you like the smell of manure. Ah, don't mind me. I won't go wandering again, I promise. There are people who need me here. Some of the others the Eclipse took had it worse than me. A lot worse. Do what you can for them, Yef. I will. Won't be anything like you did, but I'll give it my best. Good man. Was that you talking to me then? Aloy. I wanted to thank you again for saving my life out Oh, yeah, hey, dude. I know we don't have much, but I promise my rations will help keep your strength up in the wilds. 
Ah, uh, and what else? Wow, I've spent a lot of shards already. I hope you know there'll always be a warm meal waiting for you here, Aloy. Thank you, Dave. Alright. Hello there. Please! The chorus won't meet with me. I don't know what else to do. How about you just start by telling me what's wrong? I'm from Riverhem, to the north. A few days back, I woke to the screams of my neighbors as Tanakh's rebels attacked. They were just scouts, but we barely drove them off. If a full raiding party comes next, we're not fighters. We're done for. I thought the chorus would help us. I thought we all sprouted from the same earth, but it seems an outlander is the only one who even listened to me. Would it be too much to hope that you'd stand with us in this fight? Regala's rebels, do you know why they're attacking you? You're asking why the sun sets at night. They are Tanakhs. They live to fight, as usual among themselves. But this time my village is caught in the middle. The rebels want to strip it of supplies to feed their campaign against the Western clans. If they're not attacking here, can't you retreat to Plainsong? An outlander might find it difficult to understand. All Utaru carry seeds that are planted when we pass. My people have planted many seeds in River Hymn's Grove, a gift from the Buried Years, which I believe outlanders call the Red Raids. We'll never leave. We sacrifice too much. All right. You said your own people won't help. The Chorus are supposed to speak for all Utaru, and normally I wouldn't question them, but they see outlying settlements like River Hymn as lost lands. No longer under Plain Song's protection. They won't even meet with me to discuss it. If I find myself up north, I'll check in on your people. I ask nothing more. When you reach the village, look for Q. He's heading up our defenses. All right, cool. Any particular reason why I can come up here? Um. Maybe to take in the view. Can't go down there. All right, let's go see the chorus. Hey guys. So the singing just keeps going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session. The people sing to soothe the chorus to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? All right, let's go talk to them. Yeah, I have the same anxiety about uh, as you about singing. Not for me. Oh, it's gone silent. Sacred cave. There's something inside I need. 
If I can get it, it so, will help. and the Nora, I've spread word of your story. And what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? So says the Outlander. Ignorant of our beliefs. Please. Remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zoe. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. Ah. By inviting you to break our traditions. Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander can save us. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. Well, we're on. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. Was that from the cordon? It's an alarm! Machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there's nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. Then off we go. Yes! Time for action, baby! Out the gate and around. Fighting in the fields ahead. Possible names. These machines don't look normal. I've seen these machines before. They must have come from the cordon. The others will defend things. We have to move. Do you really think we can do something about all of this? Oh, I know I can. Yeah. Machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. There's more than just me and the missing land god in that cave. The hell is going on here? Path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the court. Excellent. Holy oh, shit. We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead.
shit. Fuck off! You fuck. Jesus, these fucking things. Jesus. We're almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the Cordon's defenders? You better be ready for anything. Oh, good, good job. Oh, hey, goat or oh, ram. I think that was technically a ram. Recording. Oh, what's left of it? So many dead. They will be more when the time is right. We must keep going. Into the cave. Yeah, hold on. I spent a lot of my uh, shards earlier, so let me just... Cover a bunch. Oh, hang on. How did I miss you? Come here.
Come on, give me all the goodies. We shouldn't linger here. I know. We're on a very important mission. Shock traps, nice. May the land gods forgive our trespass. Right, no getting up there. What is that? A kind of wall. Made of light. We'll have to find a way around. We'll follow your lead. Eh? Up here. Pouch is full, but my pack has room. Why do I feel like this is going to be another lengthy episode? <laughs> Aloy. All right, there's the main door. Door. Uh, here we go. To understand what's going on in there, you're going to need one of these. something very powerful somewhere beyond that door and it wants us dead follow my lead and be ready for anything But that will have to wait for the next episode. I'm not going over an hour again. <laughs> Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Horizon Forbidden West, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.